hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today video we are solving another lead code problem that is 3011 find if array can be sorted but before jumping into the solution i would highly recommend you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes to this problem so let's get right into it what problem is asking that we are given nums and nums is like this we need to sort these numbers but the thing is we can only swap these numbers when we have same number of set bits set bits set bits means if we have a number like this a representation of a number in binary so it has one set bit so yeah so 8 has one set bit 4 has also one set bit 2 is also one set bit 30 is 4 set bit and 15 is also 4 set bit you can check it so we can swap 8 4 we can swap so this becomes this uh, we can also swap this uh, Mm hmm yeah 15 30 again we can swap these two it it because they are they can be swapped and we can again swap these two how we are able to swap because you can see we have one over here and four over here so yeah and if you see this is what a sorted vector would look like if we do a normal sort but here we did follow that rule of same number of set bits we can swap when we have same number of set bits so after following that rule we are able to reach this sorted same as if we have sorted how we usually sort so we are able to achieve this then we need to return true so that is what problem is asking so yeah let's get to our algo how we would be solving this as you have seen we are just doing this swap thing we are doing this swap thing and we are sorting so and also if you see constraint n is 100 so n square will be accepted we'll also discuss n solution but let's build for n square before jumping into n so yeah we are sorting plus we need to have a check what check that same number of set bits bits we need to have so you would have heard about bubble sort where we just check the adjacent and then swap check the adjacent and then swap so it is just same as bubble sort same as bubble sort bubble sort only thing would be thing um, would be would be this check if we pass this check for example we have a comma b a is less than b but it can only be swapped when it has same number of bits so yeah it would be same algorithm as bubble sort bubble sort only thing would be what if something like this condition is there but but the set number of set bits are not equal then we'll return false because 
we can't sort it as you can see if a is less than b but they don't have set equal number of set bits then we can't sort it then we have to return false because we can't sort the array and also that's it i think we just need to check this part only that if we are not able to sort because of they don't have equal number of set bits then we need to return false yeah other thing we'll discuss in code how to do that thing yeah so here is our code what we are doing here is just basically counting the set bits in c plus plus there is uh, in build function where you can count the number of set bits but just for the simple and here is the size here is the vector what we are doing what we are doing over here is just number with number of set bits and now we just loop do a bubble sort basically start from zero and j i starts from zero and j is always i plus one and what we check if that a is less than b not a j j is the next one if next one is less than the previous one basically what i mean if a and b if b is less than a this is what i'm trying to say then what we need to do is we need to check if the number of set bits are same if they are same just swap it if not return a false and also after we have done with it we have to check for once that after doing all these things not things basically this sort is it is it sorted properly is it in increasing order so here we are checking if it's not in increasing order we return false and after that we just return true if everything goes fine so let's submit for example test cases it's running fine let's submit it also yeah that is fine it's running fine and you can see we have two loops so this is o of n square approach yeah so there is other approach also that we can discuss with o of n so let me write it for you again we have eight four eight four two 30 15 if you see we have a kind of a segment if consecutive numbers in a segment have same number of bits then they will finally they would be sorted in the correct order as you can see over here it doesn't matter how many swap did take but final result they would be what sorted after this so the thing is what we can do is we can make segments segments according to set bits number of set bits sorry number of set bits and other thing is that there could be a case there could be a case where it has more number of set bits but if we sort it it would be over present oh it should be present over here so no overlapping should be there so no over 
लैपिंग शुड बी देयर दैट शुड बी फाइन नो ओवर लैपिंग शुड बी देयर बिकॉज इफ वी टेक एट फोर टू दीज आर वन वन इफ वी टेक थ्री थ्री इज टू बिट्स एंड फाइव इज ऑल्सो टू बिट्स दे शुड बी इन दिस सेगमेंट डिफरेंट सेगमेंट बट इफ यू सॉर्ट इट प्रॉपरली दे वुड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस बिकॉज लेट्स सी एट फोर टू एंड दिस इज डिफरेंट सेगमेंट थ्री फाइव बेसिकली ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड बट इफ यू सॉर्ट दिस इज दिस सॉर्टेड इज दिस सॉर्टेड नो वी हैव टू रिटर्न फॉल्स इन सच केस सो वील मेक सेगमेंट्स विद द नंबर ऑफ सेट बिट्स एंड वी विल चेक द मिनिमम नॉट द मिनिमम मिनिमम ऑफ द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट और करंट सेगमेंट करंट सेगमेंट शुड बी लेस देन इफ शुड बी ग्रेटर देन सॉरी not less than should be greater than the max of previous segment so what i am saying is current segment should be greater than max of min sorry over here min of current segment should be greater than max of previous segment that three things we have to get account number of set bits i'm just repeating myself number of set bits and minimum of current segment should be greater than so of previous segment these are two things that we need to take care i'm not discussing the each and every step we can go over the code and understand how we are doing that thing but that is coding part not the algo algo wise we need to do this that's the implementation that we have to do so yeah i'll get this over here so what is it we are doing we are just first we are making the first set basically we need to in basically if you have just a starting this would be the min this would be the max and this would be the start of number of set bits okay basic coding part and next what we are doing we are just setting up the previous max of segment basically we are starting then there is no previous over here we just the on the first element so just initializing basically everything now we will start from next i is equals to 1 we initialize 0 over here you can see initialize the segment with the z uh, n0 okay not n0 index 0 so yeah this is the inbuilt function that i was talking about to count the number of set bits so over here we are counting the number of set bits and if it is equals to the previous this segment a has one set bit now b has occurred b has also have one set bit now both are part of this segment of one a and b now what logically we would do is we will see which one is the minimum now new minimum new minimum and new maximum because this is the new segment that's what we are doing basic thing if if we don't have that thing number of this number of set bits are not same set bits are not same if number of set bits are not same what we can do make a new segment that's one thing 
plus 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 we can check we need to check if this new segment segment has this condition true if not it will just return false because as you have seen in this case this example that i took even max max previous max is 8 over here and this min is 3 and it should have been greater than 8 but that's not the case so we we can't do anything even if we do that you you see it's not sorted yeah so that what we would do over here we are just checking if this minimum of current segment basically current segment because we were not able to have a equal number of so we'll just started a new segment so if this minim minimum of this segment and previous segment if minimum is less than the previous max previous max of segment then we we are returning false and if this is not the case we are safe we have a non overlapping new segment non overlapping new segment then what we do we have to update we have to update that now this is our new segment this is our max and min of new segment plus what is the new previous what is the new previous what is the new previous the current because now we are in different segment if you see we are in different segment basically we have started a new segment over here and the previous would be the current max as you can see basic coding and we also will update the number of set bits because if we were having the segment of one now we have a segment of two so when we initialize we initialize the number of set bits we initialize the new max we initialize the new min and also also what the previous max of previous max basically once max what was the once max we'll just update that thing so yeah if we have a taken an example because over here it's like this let's take an example and dry run this thing 842 842 3015 if you see 11111 our max of segment is 8 min of segment is 4 number of set bits is 1 they matched they matched ok now max is still 8 the min would be why I wrote min 4 already min now again my mistake my bad uh, yeah starting so yeah it will remain it but now this will become 4 this is the segment and ma previous max was int min min okay yeah now we are at over here this is our new segment it's still valid now our min changed max is this one yeah this is this one okay that part is understood now when we get to this 30 30 has 2 no 2 4 4 set bits so what will happen we'll get to the else part we'll get to the 
else part and we'll check if the max of current segment if this is some hypothetical segment you can just take it this is int for that the int min was max so is this a valid valid one because we are going to make a new segment because this is kind of a new segment i can if you think about like this this there is a already a segment over there hypothetical segment and there the max is int min okay there the max is int min and we are making this we are we have started making this segment okay now now when we do it we have made this segment and now we have to check after making that segment we have to check we have to check because it's no use if we go on proceeding we have to check if this segment min doesn't fall under here so if you see if you see the max of this segment sorry the min the min of this segment 2 is greater than int min so it is outside of this segment 2 is outside if we this 2 is outside of this segment so it, it this is a valid segment now we move to this one so the same thing would happen we will have a new segment what is the new segment why we went to this part because as you can see the it didn't match over here yeah so new segment would be there so now this time 30 again 30 now 15 the min would be 15 and yeah and again we have to check because we get out of this loop if you see and we are again checking it if that's the thing and our min is 15 min is 15 and the max is 8 15 is greater than 8 so we'll return true yeah this condition won't be triggered we'll just return false i hope that is clear i hope that is clear i uh, let me repeat it we have this hypothetical int min we'll make make the segment make the segment and when done making the segment we will check if this segment is valid and how we are checking that this segment is valid by taking the max by checking if the min 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 here min is greater than the max of here if the min is greater than the max that part is understood and how this thing we'll get to know that this is the end of segment when when we don't have equal number of set bits like in this case 248 15 30 4 1 1 1 we'll know that this is the end of the segment i think it's kind of i explained it it's it was kind of understandable that how basically programming thing yeah i did ex try to explain it let's see if it is running for the sample test case yeah it is running but let's submit it yeah you can see it is submitting i hope this is understood of an approach one single loop we are using and space wise is also one 
I think so, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, we are just using variables, yeah, O of 1. And over here, in the previous approach, uh, that is O of n. This one is O of n. O of n space wise. That this and the newer one, the segment part is O of 1. So yeah, this is the end of the video. So consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video because it takes a lot of effort to make such videos. And yeah, if you find it useful, so consider subscribing to the channel. So yeah, you have to do what you have to do. So keep grinding. You guys are awesome. See you in the next one. Bye bye.